Hi guys, do you know this problem when you're coding and you want to switch into the folder where you're working in currently to run a file or something like that and the path is really long and you're like okay let's go into Eclipse and then go into workspace and um, then go into my project um, okay I don't remember the name um, let's see and then you're like oh let's see which project was it all right this one and then you go into Soros folder and then you're there and then you you run your project and then you go back and you want to go into the, another folder and it's again like really long path and you have to go all the way back and then you go into your projects and it's like really really annoying and it takes really long and then you run your pro program and it crashes and the console is stuck and you have to quit it and then you have to reopen it again and then you're here again and you're like come on are you kidding me and you think that's not really how the hackers will do it it feels so slow and so bad and you think there has to be some other way like some kind of shortcuts something like this or something like that and now you think wow what's what's that shortcut he, he's just typing cds and then some kind of name and yeah let's try this out in, in my own console and then you try it and you get this error you don't have this command and now before you're going on to google and search for cds command not found and stack overflow let me tell you this is a custom command and you'll have to write it for yourself but don't worry i've got you covered um i'm gonna tell you how to do it and um, if you just want to get the code it's on github the link is in the description so yeah let's get started now the way that this will work is that we'll create a batch file that will take care of all the um, path uh, switching and um, for the um, system path variable we'll set the directory where this batch file is so the command line will know where to find the um, cds command so the first thing i'm going to do is um, create a new folder and um, this is the folder where the batch file will be in I'm going to call it um, command line shortcuts and um, here I will create a new text file and I'm going to call this uh, cds.bat and um, the name that you'll give to it, this will be the name that you have to call in the command line. So if you want a different name you have to um, name the batch file different here. Now I'll open it in um, notepad. And um, the first line that I'm going to type is at echo off. Um, this just means that it um, doesn't show all the commands on the uh, command line when I run the uh, run the batch file. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to type cds and then we're going to type some keyword and um, this keyword will indicate where we um, want to go, which path do we want to select and we're going to have to um, define each keyword. So if you want to add more paths um, that you want to switch to fast, then you're going to have to um, add a new keyword. For example, what this will look like is um, you're going to type CDS and then um, your project name, something like that. And um, this part of the command um, is called an argument and it's the first argument. So um, the way you get this argument in your code is with this um, percent one, percent two would be the second argument, and so and so forth. And um, now we're gonna ask it if um, what the name is, and um, we're gonna check if it's one of our keywords. So, for example, if um, I want to um, switch into this um, directory where the batch file is. Then, um, for example, the keyword that I'll give it is um, bat, and what I wanted to do then is um, just like on the normal command line, I, I wanted to um, change directory, and then I'm, I'm gonna type this as slash d because um, this will allow me to um, just type the whole path, and um, it will change the directory. So this um, d um, allows me to switch um, between um, C and D and E, my drives. So D stands for drive. The um, command line shortcut batch file 
um, we've just uh, created the um, directory so um, this is the parts and it will switch to that if I run this and um, at the end I want to uh, go to end um, and I have to define this end like this and um, yeah after that we will um, jump here so for example if you have more than one keyword um, for example if you, if you have a second one um, let's say I don't know it's um, just one project of mine um, let's call the keyword ISS <coughs> and then um, we want to change directory again and for this um, project the pass looks like this And now we write go to end again, and um, this is just so if the program sees okay, if the keyword is bad, then um, it shouldn't test if it's ISS because it was bad. And if you want to um, avoid that it tests all the other keywords, then we can just say okay, go to end, and it will um, close immediately. So if you want to um, try if this works, as I uh, mentioned previously, we have to go into our um, system sec settings and um, set our path variable so um, go to um, go into your uh, system control and then under system advanced system options and um, then there go to um, environment variables and then you will in your system variables not the um, user variables but system variables I don't know maybe you can do it also you but I do it here um, you go to your path variable, and then um, you click um, edit, and then new, and here you're gonna define exactly um, where the batch file is. So for me, this is in um, my D drive, and then under command line shortcuts, and yeah, that's that's the directory, and now I can. Um, open a new command line, and if I if I type cds now, it takes me where I want to go. And if I type ISS, cds ISS, um, it doesn't do what I want. Why not? Uh, so the mistake was that I um, forgot a bracket here. So um, if I type it now, um, it works. And yeah, that's um, kind of the whole program. If you want some um, convenience now, um, to for, for example, um, you forgot what your keywords are, then you can um, write some help functions. So for example, um, if the argument plus a dot, so this means um, the argument and then followed by a dot is equal to a dot, and this means um, that the argument was empty. So this just means um, this was empty. And then um, if dot equals dot, then we want to do what, something. And what we want to do is we want to um, go to help. And we will define this now. And for example, um, you could also define some keywords like um, like uh, help, and it um, will do the same thing. We'll also go to help. And yeah, um, let's define help now. So um, you can write whatever you want, but um, what I did was so if the um, user really doesn't know how this program um, works. I want to echo something, so this um, will mean it will print it on the um, command line. And um, I said, um, um, run the program as and um, percent zero is um, the first argument in a way. So um, this is actually the name of your um, command. So I could also write um, just CDS, but if I change the name, um, this will um, be act as a variable and it's still correct so I use um, this percent zero and then um, after the CDS I have to give the path shortcut 
and then I'm gonna define um, a keyword that will list all the paths shortcuts. This will happen after this. So if you want to see all the shortcuts, then you have to um, run this um, CBS plus L, or for example, um, with a list as an argument and um, list. So um, let's define that. If percent want, so the first argument is list. Then what you want to do is uh, go to list. And list is um, another point where we can jump to. And um, what happens here is that we echo all the um, keywords that we have defined. So for example, um, the first thing that we'll do is um, we'll say what this is. So we um, list all shortcuts sorted alphabet alphabetically. And um, the, the first shortcut that we've defined was bet. And for example, um, this uh, shows you where the bash file is. And then we defined ISS. And um, this uh, jumps to the ISS project. And after that, we go to end again. Okay, and so for example, if I just uh, run CS now, then um, it will. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Ah, I forgot um, this go to end. If you don't go to end here, it will um, uh, follow the path, so it will run this, and then it will go into list, and then it will echo all this, and then it will go to end. But if you don't want it to um, move onward here, you have to uh, go to end. And because I forgot that, um, it um, already ran this um, this list command. So now if I run a CDS, it just prints this um, helper text. And if I type CDS list, um, again, mistake. Uh, so the reason that I got this um, syntax error was that there has to be a space between the argument and the um, brackets. Now it should work. Yeah. So now if you type um, CDS list, you will um, get the list of all the keywords that you have defined. And um, one more thing that I can uh, show you is um, if you want to go to the um, root of a drive, so example you want to switch to just the root of the E drive, then you can um, do this by uh, first uh, switching into the E drive, and then um, this means uh, go to the root, and then we go to end again. So if I do this, uh, I forgot um, the closing bracket again. Don't know why I keep doing that. So okay, now it works. And yeah, that's um, the whole um, thing. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.